Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back everyone to more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. So we are not the middle of the core period, but we're, st we're still relatively early on. We're, okay. uh, we're cross-examining Detective Yu-Gi-Oh. Last time we were snowed in, and today we're iced in. Yeah, so it's different. It's the same thing, basically. Yeah, so we're cross-examining his testimony that he gave last time. So, let's Just press him. We already right. read it last time. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning. Hold it! So that would be one o'clock the, on the morning of the 12th, correct? That's an impressive deduction, Sir Lloyd. You were on security duty that night. Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse, near the computer. Near the computer? Huh. So you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it? Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. Yeah, he said the same thing yesterday, too. Gumshoe also said that he never saw him at the crime scene. Precisely! That is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. Oh. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. But you're just standing <laughs> out in the open, so the thief comes in and he's like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the thief was on one, uh, was the one applying pressure on your pigeony head, that is. In any case. It's weird how he looks so different, like, in the front with the glass, and then when he takes it off to polish it, like, he looks a lot nicer. Hmm. I know that's, like, just probably me, but it's, it's probably the eye difference on the side. That could be. That's what my nemesis, the infamous Master Mask, dancingly descended upon. Okay. Dancingly descended <laughs> from where the exactly? Ceiling. It's gonna be the ceiling. Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? The entrance isn't descending. So in actuality, he never danced nor descended. Someone please save me. Um, how is, so how is it you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the thief's shadow while my ears listened for his footfalls. Oh! But even so, the dastardly criminal managed to sneak up on me. Was it, What was he, like, on a jetpack? So he was, like, <laughs> flying around... You'd hear room. that! Okay, well... Didn't you see Jingle all the way? I forgot about that. It's terrible time! time. No, <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe it's something like the weird Max Galactica thing where it's, like, light on his feet, quite literally, he's just, like, floating around. He, he didn't actually I know, I know but... It's not like Dark Samus. Oh, Dark Samus. Mm. Your amazing jump. It can only be due to his subtly camouflaged cape and soft-soled shoes. Uh... I hereby dub you Ace Dunce. Yeah. <laughs> Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my like noble head. ring. His ring's kinda cool. <laughs> That's, uh, the ring that the museum gave him as reward for getting back. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Man, he just waves it around in people's faces then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look how great I am. Yeah. I got the bean back. <laughs> you didn't see the criminal's face when that happened? Well, that's the difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask. That's all I can recall. That's it? Hmm. It totally somebody could have dressed up. <laughs> that's not very solid as far as a testimony goes. However, fortunately I had my third monocle, the security camera, at the ready. It captured his image perfectly. Be should be should sufficient, I believe. Hmm, well, as long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have a problem with the photo? Oh yeah, him! I almost forgot about you. Good. Then let's continue with the testimony. Cool. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. Okay. Attacked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing? That's certainly some very impressive detective work. <laughs> well, Sir Lawyer, have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Actually, yes! Huh? Well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and what happened? Uh, I was knocked out. And you lost your memory, too. You see, you have no right to look down on me then, do you? The only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brains to be given. Wow! Okay. He may have brains, but the wiring to the self-reflection part seems to be severed. In any case, that was how I was knocked out senseless. And then... Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. Cool. <laughs> About this thirty minutes... 
My silver cord was loosened, and my soul fled to the golden halls of the Elysium. As usual, I have no idea what this guy is saying. I think he's saying that he was out cold. So, what happened during these 30 minutes? No one can say, Your Honor. That span of time has truly vanished into the ether. Just what is he going on about? There's something suspicious about Detective Atme. How could he not have noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. But that can't be right. It contradicts the evidence. What if he was just sleeping the whole time? <laughs> huh? Which piece? The real question is, why would he tell such an obvious lie? To make up for the fact that he sucks. <laughs> no, if, if he actually slept on the job, like, I would not be surprised. Just because it's like one in the morning, you're waiting for this thief to come, you know they're gonna come. And it's kind of, I don't know. It would be hard to stay awake, I would So, do you know where the contradiction lies? Um... Probably... Uh... Later. You can't be... Is it gonna be... I mean, this is video game logic, yeah. though. But if, if, in this game, is it fine if you get knocked unconscious for 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Um... What's the next one? Or, that was the end. Oh, that was the end? Um, I think it's either that one, or the third one. Either that one or the one after it. Alright, this is the one that Phoenix and I were talking about. Okay. So uh, we got the journey's bad. Oh, I know why! What? It's so obvious, now that I think about it. He got hit with the sword, which means the guy would've had to go past him, pick up the sword, and then hit him in the face. No, at me was over by the computer and the sword was on the way. But I thought the entrance- Because it was being held Wait, hold by- on. No one will be able to see this, but I thought- Look at me. I thought that here's the entrance, here's the computer, here's the statue. No, I think the entrance is- And then here's behind. the other entrance. I think the entrance is like be um, so like, the warehouse is there, entrance is here, computer is here, and then the sword is over there. So I mean, okay. he could theoretically- Can I see the picture? Um, of what? Of, uh, the dude walking in. So that's him walking out of the storeroom with That's the him walking out of the storeroom, okay. And Atme was in front of the storeroom, right? Atme was to the computer, which is to the left of uh, where Mask the Mask is. He was at the, the computer. To the right? To the left. To the left would be where the statue is. No. He's here to the left. Yes, yeah, so that's his right. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say. Yes. Okay, so... To the left of Mask to Mask. So that would mean right. he'd have to see... He probably would see him come in because he came in and this be like, This is after Whoa. Atme was knocked unconscious. Oh. Though. But there's a, there's a different entrance to get into that room. Right. And, and I he, believe he's walking towards it. So it's like a straight line from the story. I wish I could see what it I, looks like. Do we have the, the floor place. plans? I don't Why think we have. Not? No, no, no floor plans here. See, what I thought was there was a floor plan of we came in from somewhere. I thought we came in right by the computer because wouldn't the computer take the photo of you coming in there? No, it's taking the photo of the store. Of the store. Room. Not okay, the so anybody warehouse. else can go in there. Okay, so from there, you walk in. I thought that there was just like blank stuff, step ladder. You're on the wrong track. Location has nothing to do. With okay. I just thought he got hit in the head, and he would have seen him come up with the sword. He should have, but Atme's kind of an idiot. Um... Roach... There's the Damascus calling card... Camera data. Did Atme ever go inside the warehouse? Um, to put the urn in, maybe? Okay, because I was also remembering the camera data, they had one. Uh, it said one person went to the warehouse. Yeah, that was Mask the Mask. Okay. Because the camera data said it went off at around, at around 1 a.m. And then it took this photo. Oh, so one... So th at least no, that... No, it said 12.58. Yeah, and it said it took a, pi a picture at around 1 a.m. Not quite 1 a.m. Oh, well, but the first thing that at me said was it was one... It was one when he... Approximately oh. one. Okay. This shouldn't be this hard. I'm probably just not... Yeah, you're I'm missing thinking, something really, I think I'm really, really basic. missing something basic. Was it the statue moved? How would that be a contradiction? I don't know. I'm just thinking about what happened. Okay, here. Let's take a look at all the evidence. Nope. 
No. What was he hiding again? I forgot what he was hiding when we did the, um, psych lock. In his- oh, well, he was hiding the fact that he got knocked unconscious. Okay, so he got knocked unconscious. There's the poster, there's the statue that was moved. The night of the crime. Well, the statue got moved, and the sword was on it, so if he didn't move the statue, that means the statue was moving, the dude grabbed the sword, turned around, Someone moved the statue, we don't know why. Though. Okay. The sacred urn. No monetary value. Right. The calling card. Oh, we never looked at this. To the security of Lord Lee Taylor, I will be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art on display in your Treasures of Korion exhibit. Take good care of the speckled urn, won't you? Yours truly, Master Mask. Um, nope, it wasn't that. The Shitashito, it knocked, uh, Damask knocked at me out with the, uh, during the crime. To the back of the head. What is with the whole blow to the back of the head thing? It's easier than the blow to the front of the head. Wait! Back of the head, he said he got hit before, uh, when he turned around, then he got hit. Go back. Go back to the statement. Just as I began to turn. You think that's it? Yeah. We can at least try it, because I'm sure everyone's like, Behind you! Behind you! Nope. Nope, sorry. Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. Um, I just realized the music is still playing, so I think I messed up. Yes, you did, Mr. Wright. You should know by now that the, when the music continues, you did it wrong. Uh-oh. I don't <laughs> think that won me any points at the, the judge. judge. <laughs> okay. Dead. That's a good idea, though. So it's that- is it that statement? It is this statement, yeah. Okay. Um, the next page of stuff, I guess? Didn't Security really camera know. photo, we already looked at that. Yeah. What about the weird paint that was spilled? There's a fountain pen. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't matter. This. Bronze wallet, that's probably not important. No. Key card, that's also probably not important. No. The publicity photo. Oh, wow. And then the brooch. Found in the shadow of Ani Faye's statue. Is it that? Because. Wait, how does light work at night, though? <laughs> Well, you need external lights for it to shine on I'm anything. thinking. I literally just finished calculus homework, so I'm like, I have no brain. Um. Pre-calculus homework. Pre-calculus homework. I'm never doing calculus ever. Um. Well, regular calculus is Would it mean that it's behind the calculus. statue? If it's the shadow? Because, like, it's in the shadows of darkness or... It, it would be somewhere next to the statue. That's all that's important. Well, then he ha okay. you'd have to go over there. I think the reason you're not getting this is it's been a few days since we did the last episode. Uh-huh. Okay. Why is the brooch here? Because why, it got why? torn off his clothing. How? Was there just this epic struggle then? That's what we believe. Oh. So I clearly didn't... Atme must have attacked back in order okay. to the brooch off. See, I thought the dude just came in with like a bad designed costume. <laughs> I thought it was someone else. That's my that's my whole Man, thing. Man, that tailor at Joanne's did a terrible job of sewing this on the costume. <laughs> no, but I thought like I, I didn't realize they found the brooch, because we never looked at the brooch fully. I didn't realize they found it in that room. I thought it was just like. Yeah, Godot found it. And he's a I put it in my pocket. <laughs> oh yeah, he said he found it at the crime scene. That's right. Okay, that makes sense. I was thinking like it was a bad costume that someone made, and so the but, brooch wasn't on there. No, but it, it was torn off. It, it was torn it didn't off. Just fall that would out. make sense. Mister Atme, could you take a look at this with that special monocle of yours? Everyone hates me. No, they don't. Aha, this belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Mask Damask. It is, in point of fact, Mask Damask's brooch. Cool. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ha! Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. See? <laughs> he has the same idea you did. Yeah. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off of a piece of clothing. Ripped off? Aha! Uh -huh. We can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. Maybe he was on the way there! That's the what only- What if he stopped at, like- Then what would the brooch have been doing at the place? At the crime Maybe, scene? maybe he got, like, I don't know. Maybe Ripped he, off, maybe he glued he it back on, then it fell off. No! Look at that, I keep a tub of glue for just a short No, thing. maybe- Because this was kind of my thought was- There's this whole blackmail thing going on. I thought it was a fake mask-to-mask- 
pl trying to plant evidence everywhere to make it not be them, he or she, that would be blamed for it. Okay, well... Like, that's what I thought, and so I thought maybe, like, I don't know, uh, they saw a mask to mask walking down the street, and they're like, hey! And grabbed the brooch, and they're like, oh, sorry, and they grabbed it back, okay. and then they just threw it. Or maybe they ripped it off their own clothing. Well, and threw generally it a good idea is not, how can I make this theory I have work with I know. this testimony, rather, it's just how can so I make this what I know? The wife's <laughs> like, he's totally not a problem. I don't know, maybe, she, maybe she's the one black and alien him. I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> and there's only one person that was in a position to have a struggle with the thief. The only person that was on the security duty that night. You, Detective at me. Irk. Wow, he's got, like, style. I like his pants and his, his outfit. <laughs> Detective at me, you must have fought with the thief that night. So, why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimonies a serious crime, but not really, we never <laughs> Uh, I, no. Wait a just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in some, some nursing home. <laughs> I just remembered, your honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. When are you ever a witness for other crimes? <laughs> or no, he's a detective. Right. I was like... What? Okay, that makes <laughs> The true sense. measure of a man is in the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time. Isn't that right? You talk too much. Witness, so are you now saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on. That's quite enough. Your honor. Uh, excuse me? Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I, look at me, agree completely. Uh... <laughs> Guess who's getting another testimony? <sighs> Fight with the thief. Someone's had their coffee. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. Right. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true. Bam! And that's all she wrote. Okay, then. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Mask the Mask? Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Well, I guess if you're working with the same... Hmm. Well, that's certainly understandable. I, myself, always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. Th uh... That can't be good! <laughs> There's a lot of different people. <laughs> Fight with the thief. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can Ooh. figure it out. The good testimony music. Oh, the good testimony music? The epic one. So, why did you look away from the door anyway? In addition to the camera, I prepared a variety of other sensors as well. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I'd gone to check yeah, the date. Yeah, there's the door to go Oh! In. That's what I said. My bad. Door, computer... Yeah, okay, so I was right with... Okay, him. he must have been in the computer room. So yeah, he out. was in the computer room. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. <laughs> How do you elegantly <laughs> walk to the computer? <laughs> Just like at the saunter. So you were momentarily vulnerable when you were working on the computer. What should I do? Should I ask for more questions? Why were you on the computer? That's enough about the sensor, about the computer. Uh... Probably about the sensor, because he was like, I was listening for his footsteps. Which I'm okay. like... What kind of sensors are you talking about? There are other places in the basement that someone could enter and exit from. There are air conditioner ducts, sewer pipes, and a cat door as well. <gasps> they have a cat door? I hooked up a heat detecting, infrared, and ultraviolet sensors up to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was it all yours? Lord Lee Taylor Department Store was kind enough to provide the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. In other words, he couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? <laughs> Has that cleared up any doubts you had about me, Sir Lawyer? Cool. Let's press that statement again later. Oh, okay. Well, that way we can ask about the computer. Yeah, if need be. Um, what does that mean, discombobulated? Hmm. Young people these days, they really irritate me. They allow perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean, anyway? Now I've forgotten. What was I saying? Jeez, it's better than old people who forget what they were saying five seconds ago. 
Well, looks like we've cleared that up. You can get on with your testimony. What? <laughs> oh, Godot. <laughs> Rendered? When I think <laughs> of render, I don't think of that. I think of, like, rendering images. When I hear the word render, I think of Air Render, the move from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, which is, like, really good, but really simple. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't played that game. I mean, it's not for everyone. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, that thief had no idea that I, Luke Atme, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door to the warehouse. How is it so easy to remove? Sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the Shichishite. So the thief armed himself with a sword. And what about yourself, witness? A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, Luke Mahoney. <laughs> <laughs> you had that much faith in your own fighting abilities? But of course. In college, I was second in charge of the boxing club. I would not believe that. <laughs> That's for one bit. He has no muscle. I'm, I'm sorry if I failed to find that appropriately impressive. However, my opponent in the ring this time was my arch nemesis, Master Mask. This guy is a real piece of work. <laughs> His first blow struck true, bad, and that's all she wrote. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerishes. Powerishes? I assumed the at me fighting stance, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had bested me. What do I do now? Should I ask more about this? Leave it, you were blinded at me fighting style? <laughs> Um, definitely ask any of the bottom two. I mean, obviously, if there was a flash of light, that would be kind of weird. Yeah. But I do kind of want to ask about the other two. <laughs> we'll get to that, I suppose. So, what was this flash of light that blinded you? I was bathed in a golden light that seemed to come from the statue of the woman. What? The statue of Ami Fei, I'm guessing. Well, that wasn't very much help at all. Well, what do you think, Nick? Well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah? What is it? This look at me guy, he's definitely hiding something. But, but why? I think I'm starting to figure out what really happened that night. I'm not. And about the true nature of this detective. I don't. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I looked away from the brief one. So now we can ask about the computer. <laughs> I want to know about the cat. <laughs> I want to know about the cat too. So did the computer belong to Lord Taylor as well? Correct. Well, except for the program that manages the data. That was specially designed by me, Luke Atme. In that case, he could have easily manipulated the data. <laughs> What's wrong, Sir Lawyer? <laughs> yeah, you're like, I wanna know about the fighting stance. Here's the thing, stance. that could totally be something that you press and you suddenly get a new statement. That's true. What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. That's it? Oh! That's then the I know at me it. fighting style? Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? It was a waste it of was time. Very important. It was very important. Of course it's important. We've learned a detective's secret technique <laughs> after all. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. That is the statement <laughs> I needed. I now know what happened. Now then, witness, we'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Thank you. That is exactly what <laughs> So he now figured yep, it out. Yep, I know exactly what it is. He put his back to the wall, which means the sword couldn't have hit him on the back of his head. Right. <laughs> I want to press this, though. Um, where is this third eye you're talking about? Oh, it's right between my left and right eyebrows. It's quite invisible to the unenlightened. You may call it to the forehead, if you will. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? <laughs> Sir Lawyer, it looks like the creases in your own forehead are getting deeper. So Mr. Atme got hit on the forehead, then? That's what he says. Hmm, I've got a funny feeling about that. Actually, so do I. Well, what do you think, Nick? Blah, 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 blah. We've already seen this. Yeah, now this makes so much more sense. I was like, I can't find anything! 
Alright. Yep. It says it was used to hit him on the back of the head. Checkmate. Not really. It's <laughs> not gonna be over. Yeah. Detective Atme, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. Ha, 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 ha. What fun this is, Sir Lawyer. It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. Yeah. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item you see here. From behind, huh? But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Ugh! It seems I've made another mistake. Yeah, that's surgery for you. Detective Atme, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. W what do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hid the coupling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. <clears throat> Geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong! To err is human, to forgive, divine. Humans aren't machines. They have souls, feelings, they live, they die, they love, they hate. They should call and them police. Yes, they even make mistakes. Hey, hold on! It's not as pretty as that. Whoa, your coffee is like <laughs> squid ink. <laughs> really? What is it like then? Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. Shot no 20. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. This is be it. up all night. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Yeah, he drinks like pure, pure black, black coffee. coffee. He's also drunk like so many cups already. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that Mr. Atme's no eights detective, Mr. Atme's a fake, Mr. Atme is masked to mask. I mean, I would love to say Mr. Atme is masked to mask. <laughs> I think that could totally be true. Because if he had the calling card, wouldn't give it to the police, wouldn't want to have other people's security, hired himself out before the calling card was sent, meaning, like, she... Nobody saw the thief except for him. Apparently. There are a bunch of things that I could say That's... would lead to that, but I don't <clears throat> think... We have the proof. He is the right. nice detective, but uh, we're not going to say that. Mr. Abney's a fake? What is that even supposed to mean? It's vague enough we can make it work. Uh, Let's do the wrong one first. Yeah. The truth is, this witness is no ace detective at all. So then what exactly are you saying that I am? Uh, um, well, an average detective? I hardly see the relevance of that. What are you doing, Nick? Weren't you going to go on the attack? I was planning on it, but it looks like I'm the one who got attacked instead. Think harder next time! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so do you actually think it's the third one? Or do you think I think it's, the, it's the third one. I'll it, be honest. It is. Yeah! I really hope that's true. This witness isn't Luke at me. He's a fake! So now it's not just mask to mask. You're saying I'm a fake too? An ace detective could never be as forgetful as this guy. Imposters like you are often suspicious of others as well. Uh... Really, this is too much. Next you'll be calling me a fake too. <laughs> wow, this is so sweet. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Luke Atme's true identity is actually mask to mask. Yeah! I mean, he reacted like that, so it's <laughs> true. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scenes, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. That's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at it. Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, detective at me. The truth is that you are, in fact, mask to mask. <laughs> but, but, Mr. Wright, th this photo, it clearly shows mask to mask. The security camera belongs to Lord Taylor to apartment store. Also, how would you hide that nose after that mask? 
That's one of the few genuine plot holes, actually. That I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe it's a fake nose. He shouldn't have been able that to would, manipulate That would it. actually be really good, because then, like, he, it's like, oh, it's not that guy, he's a big nose. <laughs> it's like Bernard from Guess Who. I forgot about Bernard. <laughs> he didn't need to manipulate it. Does your guy have a bald, egg-shaped head? Yes. Oh, he gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed as the thief to install the urn. So, the ace detective is actually an ace thief. Is this true, witness? Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Damask Zemo is pure genius, and so am I. Look at me, ace detective. You are very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am impressed, sir lawyer. He's not what? denying what? or acknowledging it. Witness, you, you're admitting it? Nick, how now is your chance? Yes, it's time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Detective Atme, when you assume the thief's identity... What? Did someone just whip? WHAT?! <laughs> HOW DARE YOU THROW YOUR COFFEE ON ME?! It's also browner than you know. Godot blend number 102. My personal You favorite. are dismissed from court! <laughs> Bailiff, drag him off! How is that worse than Francesca whipping people? Okay. <laughs> Francisca might give you a bruise, but she's not gonna harm your clothes. If somebody threw <laughs> coffee on me, no. If I was presenting a case and somebody just threw, like, started throwing tomatoes at me or something. Okay, okay, I'm already. What's worse, forty lashes or forty cups of coffee throwing your face? <laughs> forty that's lashes. Like a, that's like a coffee bath. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Th that's outdoors. how Godot babes. <laughs> That'd be so. Both are really bad. I think the I. <laughs> In the first place, Francisco would not be able to get away with whipping people in No, court absolutely not. At all. Yeah, but like, throwing your coffee court. at someone might be able to slide, question mark? And in that's this really court, annoying. it can slide, which is dumb. But again, not as bad as Francisco's whip. Judge, but Mr. Godot! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. I mean, There's yeah. only one problem. It simply isn't true. B but Mr. Godot! Mr. Wright has made some very strong points, and I... I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of He's your claim. He's slaying bullets! That's not proof. <laughs> okay, well, he was the one who was reacting like, What? <laughs> but it had better be as hot, and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. His shirt isn't even stained yet. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. This court would like to see this decisive proof you have, quickly. Huh? Oh, he's clean. Oh, up. yes, of course. What's the big rush? <laughs> Are you all right, Nick? That me looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this out? right now if I can. But can I really do it? I mean, you can't finish the whole case right now because clearly there's a blackmail letter that we can't prove. <laughs> the pre decisive evidence that proves Mr. Luke at me is in fact at Mask to Mask. We'll have to answer that next time <laughs> on Phoenix Wright <laughs> Trials and Tribulations. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next episode, we should be able to finish up the uh, the court period. Uh, yeah, I would figure. Yeah, I think there's still there's it. there's more to the court than you huh. are gonna think. I'm just guessing. Five more testimonies. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We got, we got for two today, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Anyhow, look forward to next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and zvari. God bless.